everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be going over our weekly NCLEX question. And don't forget to check out our other free resources to help you study for NCLEX. So let's get started. A 55 year old male patient is ordered by the physician to take digoxin, which is also called linoxin, 0.25 milligrams by mouth daily. Prior to administering this medication, you will assess what area on the diagram. Okay, this question is one of those hot spot type questions that you may encounter on the NCLEX exam. And for this particular question, we need to click in the area that we're gonna assess prior to giving the medication called digoxin, also known as linoxin. So the first thing that should be popping in your head is what is digoxin? Well, digoxin is a cardiac medication and it acts on the heart. It's part of the cardiac glycoside family. And digoxin is really an interesting drug because it has this positive inotropic effect on the heart. So what does that mean? It means that it's gonna cause each heart contraction to be stronger. So when your heart beats and it squeezes that blood out, that contraction is going to be stronger so that blood can get out of that heart muscle and go to the body and go and do its job. However, on the flip side, digoxin also has this negative chronotropic effect, which is going to slow that heart rate down. So you have a slower heart rate, but stronger contractions. And this is a great drug for allowing the heart to beat more efficiently. This medication is also used in patients with particular types of heart failure. And again, what is heart failure? We learned in our NCLEX review lectures that heart failure is when that heart muscle has become weak. And when the heart becomes weak, it cannot pump efficiently. So that blood will stay in the heart. It can backflow to the lungs, causing respiratory issues or in the extremities and things like that. And what digoxin will hopefully do is it'll slow that heart rate down, which decreases the demands on the heart, but it'll also cause that weak muscle to contract stronger. So you hopefully get decreased amounts of blood pulling in that heart. It's also used in treatment sometimes of a condition called atrial fibrillation, which is one of those arrhythmias where the heart rate is beating irregular, it's not being irregular, and you have decreased blood flow, and digoxin can slow that irregular fast heart rate down and help it beat more efficiently. Now, as the nurse, prior to giving digoxin, you always want to assess the apical pulse for one full minute. And in adults, you wanna make sure it's at least 60 beats or greater. Now, next question you wanna ask yourself is, where is this apical pulse located? That is the whole thing. Whenever you're looking at that diagram, that's what we're trying to find. So the apical pulse, it's located also where the point of maximal impulse is. So it will be located at the apex of the heart. Now, whenever you're looking at the heart, it's flipped upside down. The base is up at the top and the apex is at the bottom. And this is gonna be the same listening area for where you will assess the mitral valve. So let's backtrack and talk about all the places that we assess on the chest whenever we're listening to heart sounds. Because whenever we're listening to heart sounds, what are we doing? We're listening to the closure of those four valves. So we're listening to lub dub, S1 and S2. So where, what are those four valves we're listening to? First set of valves we're listening to are called the semilunar valves. And that includes your aortic valve and your pulmonic valve. And whenever these close, that is S2, what you'll be hearing. That's the dub part of lub dub. Then we listen to the atrioventricular valves, which are the tricuspid and the mitral valve. And when they close, you hear S1, which is the lub part. Now, whenever you're assessing your patients, I like to use this mnemonic because it helps you go in the order of how they are on the chest. All patients take 
medicine. And the first letter of each word correlates with that heart valve. So let's look at where each heart valve is located because we are looking for where the mitral valve is located because this is where we're gonna to listen to our apical pulse. Okay, so the aortic, cause all for aortic, is found on the right side of the sternal border in the second intercostal space, which is right here. The next is the pulmonic valve, and this is found left of the sternal border in the second intercostal space. Then you will go down a little bit and you will go to the left of the sternal border in the fourth intercostal space, and this is where you will find the tricuspid valve. And then you will go down just a little bit to the fifth intercostal space, and you will go to the midcavicular line, which is the middle of where the clavicle is, and this is where you will find your mitral valve, also, also your apical pulse. So you will listen there for one full minute and count that and make sure it's at least 60 beats or minute. And this is where it is loca located. Therefore, whenever you're taking the exam, you will click within this area to determine what the apical pulse would be before you administer digoxin. Okay, so that wraps up this NCLEX review question of the week. And don't forget to check out our other NCLEX review questions and our other resources as well. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.